What's up guys, it's Darren here from EC Nano Reef. I hope everybody's doing good. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to use a Salifert Alkalinity Test Kit. But before we get into that, I just want to give you guys a little update on my tank. So we lost another fish, unfortunately we lost an Antheus. Uh, it was one of my males, well my only male. And if you didn't know, the uh, next dominant female actually turns into a male. And this is my female that's busy turning into a male. I also managed to catch a little um, local convict. And I know it's not good to have uh, tangs in a, in a small tank like mine. But um, once he does get uh, too big for my tank, I definitely do have a home for him. And yeah, everything is doing very, very good, guys. All my frags are growing out nicely. Um, that Poseidon salt that I've been using is doing an absolute brilliant job. At first, my corals did take a little bit of a, I won't say a knock. They just didn't open up for like probably the first few days. Um, obviously, they were just getting used of the, the new salt. But... Um, I can definitely see a lot of growth even with this little Walt Disney here. Full polyp extension, my zoas are growing, everything is growing absolutely beautifully. My plan is to also start a little Aiken garden at the bottom here. Let me not get carried away, that was just a small little update for you guys and let me get to showing you guys how I do the alkalinity test. But before we get into testing the alkalinity, always make sure you've already checked your salinity and that it's sitting on either 1.025 or 1.026. So if your salinity is too high or too low, whether you're testing your alkalinity, magnesium, calcium or whatever, um, it's not going to give the uh, correct reading. Alright, so to test your salinity, you need to have one of these. This is a refractometer. You do get hydrometers and all these other gadgets that you can use to check your salinity. This is by far the best and most accurate way. Alright guys, so this is what the Salifert Alkalinity Test Kit looks like. Um, it comes with two solutions, a little test tube and then two syringes. And then obviously as well as instructions. So there's a picture step by step on how to do it. So first we get four mils of water, tank water, using this, the biggest syringe. There's my water. Next, we're gonna be using four drops of this. Okay, H solution, just give it a nice shake. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Just give it a little shake there, about five seconds. Right, and then next we've got this solution also obviously give it a nice shake and also guys so there's going to be an air gap so what you need to do is this black plunger you're going to pull it right up to the one one more mark right at the top here and the solution you're going to be wanting to be sitting at the 8.5 mark obviously i can't get it's not going to focus very nicely for you guys but the solution is to sit on the 8.5 mark and the black plunger put it all the way to the 1 mil mark. So, we've got and if you don't get it the first time, push it back in and do it again. Always try and make it onto the 8.5. It just gives you the most accurate reading. Alright, so, plunger is up there. You guys can actually see nicely here. The plunger's up there, and there is the solution. There's the air gap I was talking about. And now when you when you do your reading, I'll show you guys how that works. Okay, so this solution is blue at the moment. It's going to change to a pinkish, yeah, let's put a picture, a pinkish solution. So I'm going to drop in a little bit at a time. Give it a shake, a little bit more, give it a shake, 
more shake and eventually when you start getting a little bit lower you'll see it starts to want to it will start wanting to change color that's when you slow down with your drops instead of going three drops go one or two just keep shaking so there it's starting to go purplish color one two now it's purple so obviously we want it pink now okay so now okay I can't get it actually so nice with the light okay so now as you can see there the solution has changed pink so what I'm going to do is I look at my first reading exactly where the plunger is so over here it's sitting on 5.4 so 0 0.54 I'm going to remember that reading and I'm just going to go put one more drop in and if the solution change gets darker then I'm going to use this reading but as you can see the solution didn't change darker so I'm going to use the the, the previous reading of the 0 0.54 so yeah and then this is where the list comes into check so there is all your your readings so I'm going to go I'll go now and I will look for 0 0.54 which is this side and my ALK is sitting on 7 dkh now I prefer to keep my ALK on 8 so what I'm going to be doing is I'll take my kh buffer and I will mix a solution on and raise it to 8 and then obviously test it again a little bit later to see that it is where I want it to be um, it's important not to raise your ALK by more than 1 dkh per day. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having the, your alkalinity on 7 as long as it stays steady. I have time to check my alkalinity as often as I want to, but I know that I normally sit between 7 and 7.5 and then when I do test I push it up to 8 so that I've just got that um, little bit of a gap to play with. Um, obviously when my corals do look unhappy or whatever, I'll test all my other parameters and work from there. Yeah, guys, it's super simple. Like I said, the uh, test kit does come with very, very simple instructions. The leftover solution in here, you can just throw it straight back into this little uh, bottle. And that's it, guys. You can throw this away. And if you add um, alkalinity, like for example, I'm going to use the Aquaforest uh, KH buffer. Some people use Red Sea, some people use Seachem or whatever you choose to use. Just make sure you test your water afterwards and that you haven't upped it too much or um, if you still need to up it a little bit more. That's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you did, please remember to push that like button. I hope it helped you. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you at the next video. Cheers, guys.